a review day over at here at uh, Ducati Winchester and they are letting me take out this Ducati Multistrada 1200 Enduro Edition. Let me tell you, if you're looking for a uh, take me out in the woods kind of bike, this is it. Oh, this is a big bike. Ooh. Time out. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a review on the Ducati Multistrada 1200 Enduro. It's a cute little backpack. Oops. Alright. Multistrada 1200 Enduro. Go! Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a big bike. All right, so this bike has all the bells and whistles on it. It's got the, uh, you know, it's got the crash bars on the side for when you drop it. It's got the Termi uh, exhaust system on it. It has the brush guards. I'm sure, I'm sure it's got a heck of a lot more. But this is the Enduro edition of the the Multistrada 1200. Um, I'm really not sure what the the Enduro edition uh, entails, but um, yeah, big big bike. Woo! Woo! Okay. All right. All right. All right. Wow, so I just got off the, uh, the Hyper Motard, so I've been doing reviews all day with uh, Ducati Winchester, they were kind enough to let us take their bikes out, their demo bikes, and let me do some vlogs on them and reviews. I just got off the Hyper Motard and I was like, oh this is a nice dual sport bike. Uh, well here's the big daddy, the Multistrada 1200, this is the daddy of the dual sports. We've got the uh, dirt street tires on it, some nice, some nice grip and stuff. Um, it's just, it's a big, big bike. A lot of, uh, just a lot of extraness compared to the uh, Hyper Motard. I actually prefer the Hyper Motard over this bike, just because this is just so much extra. But you know what? This bike is a heck of a lot more comfortable. Um, it's not uh, as aggressive of a riding position as the um, Hyper Motard. So I do like that aspect of it. However, I would still, if I had to choose, right off the bat right now, if I had to choose Hyper Motard all the way. Um, even though this thing's got a lot more power, a lot more torque, um, and a lot more gadgets, which uh, I'm not a huge fan of gadgets. So for me, like seeing all those gadgets and stuff is uh, kind of a bit of a turnoff. I do, however, like, ooh, I do like how they have the uh, gas indicator. So yeah, this is it's just a very bulky, awkward bike, you guys. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm sure it's one of those things you get used to, but uh, right, I don't know. So I am six feet tall, well, I'm 5'11", six feet with my boots on. Um, I can barely touch my tippy toes. Uh, I kind of got to do that uh, dirt bike lean with the one leg. Um, you know, the one leg down, the one foot on the brake, kind of uh, lean to uh, well, I'm not a stop. Uh, let's check the acceleration. Let's do this real quick. Okay. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you, Multistrada. Back in the monster. Oh, I got all excited. I was like, I'm beating you. I mean, yeah, the, it's got the termi on it. So, so the thing I do like uh, this compared to the uh, the Hyper Motard is, um, so first gear is um, is nice and smooth. Uh, what I was saying about the Hyper Motard before is kind of like up to like 10, 12 miles an hour. You kind of get that like uh, 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 kind of shakiness in it. 
um, where this, um, it's really nice and smooth. This is definitely, a, um, uh, this is definitely a cruiser uh, friendly kind of bike where, you know, you can do the cruising and then you can go and uh, hit the safari or maybe the outback. Woo! Almost dropped it. That was close. You know, get the outback with Steve Irwin, you know, and the kangaroos. I feel like that's what this bike represents. I'm gonna go find some kangaroos. <laughs> oh, this is just the the enduro package that's on this uh, Multistrada. It just just reminds me of the outback, like something that you would really take out into like the desert or the jungle. Like this is a. This is definitely much more of a um, woods-oriented, trail-oriented bike as opposed to the Hyper Motard. And I'm sorry that I'm comparing the two, but I can, I, that's all I can really do right now because that I've only ridden two dual sports, so this is my second. And both of those dual sports I've ridden today run right after the other, so we're going to compare the two. Um, oh. oh, it's got an adjustable windscreen. That's pretty cool. The one thing about this is it's got a lot of electronics. A lot. Like, wow. This looks like, a, this is actually looks like a throttle sensitivity uh, adjuster. Oh, this, oh, this is, I don't like this. Now, I don't know if it's the tires or what, but um, that was, uh, I kind of did a, just kind of like a partial lean. I didn't go crazy or anything like that. And that the bike, uh, like, it just kept going. It just, it leaned more than I was expecting it to. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the fact that I have the, uh, that dual sport tire on it where it's got really neat tread for the, for the dirt roads or what the deal is with that. But that was, uh, that was a little weird. I was not expecting that at all. So anyways, a lot of gadgets, um, a lot of bells and whistles on this bike. Uh, looks like we have like a throttle uh, sensitivity adjustment. Obviously the power lock. It's got a fob. It's a keyless bike. So uh, like the Diablo that I test drove earlier, it's a, it's a keyless. So all you got to do is get on it, push the button and go. As long as you got the fob in your pocket or on your person. Um, got a lot of gadgets and gizmos going on here on the display. Um, Obviously, you got all the basics, and it looks like you got uh, uh, DTC, which is dynamic traction control, uh, ABS, DWC, I'm assuming dynamic wheelie control, maybe? I don't know. I'm making this stuff up as I go, guys. Uh, obviously, we got the clock. Looks like it's got several uh, riding modes. Uh, this one's currently in sport, which it seems to be every single bike I've ridden today for. Ducati Winchester is in sport mode, which I'm not going to complain. And you get your MPG, and you get a gas gauge, which I had mentioned earlier, which is really nice. And you got a whole lot of buttons over here. I'm not going to take the time to go through them all. Um, there's, there's a lot there. I'd rather just focus on riding. It's a very comfortable bike. Uh, the seat is a lot more comfortable. Um, the handlebars are more upright. They're more away from you. I really feel like I can just kind of, yeah, put my one one hand here, just kind of way back and cruise. Um, it does have a passenger seat. The passenger seat looks quite wide, so your passenger riding on the back, although it won't be the most comfortable ride in the world, it'll probably be, I'm sure it's a heck of a lot better than riding on your little CBR 600 or something like that. This is the big boy bike, man. Big leagues, big leagues right here. Not really, but this is a very cool bike. Um, personally, I don't much care for it. I think it's it's too big, too bulky. It's just too much, too much going on um, for me to really be like, yeah, I, I like this bike. You know, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, if it was given to me, I'd take it. But if I had to choose, I would, uh, I'd honestly probably take the, uh, the Hyper Motor over this one. Um, but not a bad bike. It's, it's pretty comfortable. the sound of these termies it really just sounds so good on these bikes uh, so much better than the stop obviously um, oh boy so it's a big bulky bike but um 
It has no issue throwing its weight around in the in the turns, especially even with these um, these dual sport tires. It's really a it's really a shaking it off like it's no big deal, guys. It's uh, quite nice. I think we we're gonna make the swap now. Oh. All right, guys. So overall, very comfortable bike. Um, this is definitely your big boy dual sport bike. Uh, pretty freaking cool. Um, that was a lot of fun. Not bad looking. Not bad looking, eh? Big mean bike. All right. So we're gonna switch now, and I'm gonna switch to my uh, next review vlog. So thank you all very much for watching, and any comments or questions, post below. Thanks so much.